we talked we talked about this a minute ago. The stage is super important when you're dealing with with whether to do surgery or not. And, and here's why. If you have advanced breast cancer, <clears throat> like about 10% of patients are when they're diagnosed. So about 10% of people are diagnosed with what they call de novo, which means at presentation, they are stage four. Taking the breast off or taking the tumor out is kind of like, it's kind of pointless. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't impact overall survivability. Um, the horse is already out of the barn. So most doctors today won't even do breast surgery on people that present de novo. Um, my friend Lisa was uh, diagnosed de novo, and she did eventually fight for a mastectomy because think about knowing that you have terminal breast cancer and being able to feel that tumor in your breast on a daily basis and just knowing that your, you know, your life is, is going to be taken because of that thing that's in your breast that you can feel and you're very much aware of. So as a quality of life issue, it's something we definitely push for in the breast cancer community, uh, but, it, but many doctors won't do it because it just, you can't risk the uh, infection risk and just delaying treatment overall um, in the metastatic setting. Breast surgery is available for pretty much every other stage except for stage four. So zero, one, two, and three. The Oncotype score, I mentioned that earlier, uh, less than 21 means you're less likely to have chemo. You can still get breast surgery and are, will probably you know, still be encouraged to get breast surgery, but you don't have the chemotherapy before or after decision to make. So uh, that certainly makes that decision a little bit easier. Um, a chemo or oncologist store type that's higher than 21 is something that you would definitely want to get chemotherapy, and then we'll get more into the adjuvant, neoadjuvant conversation on the next slides. The grade, I see that I, I left a, a piece off my, my slide. I'll, I'll just talk you through it. Um, the grade is something we talked about earlier. So an indolent cancer is going to be uh, graded at grade one. And it's going to be a slower growing cancer. Um, typically, in older people, the cancer is a little bit slower growing. Um, moderate cancer is going to be graded two. And <clears throat> it's, it's pretty much what it sounds like. It's not quite as aggressive as, as grade three and not nearly as uh, slow growing as grade one. So typically, middle-aged people are going to experience that particular cancer grade. Grade three, which is what my cancer was graded at, and in most cases, young women do have grade three cancer is the most aggressive. Um, it is the most different looking from uh, the primary breast cell that this cancer formed from. So most aggressive, fastest growing, even for my slower growing cancer overall. And, uh, and definitely something you wanna make a, a semi-fast decision on when it comes to what surgery you wanna go for. Uh, the location of the tumor, you mentioned this earlier. Near the chest wall, you know, we're gonna have less likelihood of clean margins for the lumpectomy space. That's definitely would probably be recommended um, for chest wall recurrences. And then behind the nipple, you're going to lose that nipple. Um, it's, it's cancer cells have a tendency to hide behind the nipple, so they are rarely doing nipple, nipple sparing mastectomies anymore um, because of that fact. Um, people tend to believe that having your breast removed means that you're not going to have a recurrence. I get all the breast tissue out and I'm going to be golden. And it's just not true. <clears throat> um, there's you know, the, the cancer can obviously spread through uh, the blood vessels and uh, the, the blood as well, as well as the, the lymph system. So the, the overall survivability of breast cancer <clears throat> doesn't differ between <clears throat> the mastectomy crowd and the lumpectomy plus radiation crowd. So do consider that as you're thinking about what kind of breast surgery to go through 